Strangers brought flowers. Part of honoring Dennis is, is, is also honoring all of those lives that have been taken in violence. Neighbors fear the violence is out of control. It's everywhere. This is not where bullets fly in a neighborhood of flags, flowers, and perfectly manicured lawns near Roosevelt High School. I feel sad, you know, just having something like here, like that. Josephine Krieger has lived on this corner 20 years. Her son found Strabel in the street, shot in the head. He heard the shots, but really he, he didn't know what to think. So he came down the, because he could help him. It was too late. He couldn't do nothing. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe uh, that happened. Strabel's brother says Dennis lived about 20 blocks away and rode his bike everywhere. Maybe he was in front of somebody in like a road rage, you know, or something, and he got in front of them. And, you know, people, they don't uh, say, oh, get out of the way, take a gun and shoot you anymore. What we can do now is just continue to watch out for each other and keep, uh, keep eye on your neighbor. Um, talk to your neighbors, and I, that's what happens already in this community. Be aware of your surroundings. The best thing people can do is if they see something they think is suspicious, pick up the phone and give us a call. We'd rather come out there and check out nothing than be reactive to something.